Welcome to Justin's Joint. Tonight, the project at hand is to fix one of the dining room chairs because my kids can't seem to sit with all four legs on the ground. Well, let's do it. Okay, guys, so here's what we have. We're looking at the bottom of the chair. And as you can see, there's these corner brackets with two bolts and four screws that basically holds the whole thing together. Well, this chair has been leaned back in and it basically, as you can see, it just demolished this, uh, you know, this bracket. So what I need to do is pull this bracket off, reset this, which is not down where it needs to be, and then I'm gonna have to somehow come up with a way to fabricate a new bracket and put it back together. Sounds like fun, right? Okay, so let's assess the damage here. We've got this piece that just basically is split all to hell. And then this was, originally it was glued in, and now you can see that this piece here is still glued in, and then basically the chair frame here has busted loose, so I'll have to fix that as well. But we gotta start by getting this guy out of here, so. Okay, well, so here we are. I got the chair sitting right here and these chairs, we bought these at a uh, American Furniture Warehouse about maybe a year ago and, you know, right away it was obviously a mistake to do that because this is some really cheap, nasty crap furniture, but, you know, it's what it is. So. Now I just gotta figure out how to piece this guy back together so that I can take some measurements and make a new one. So it's kind of a little bit like a puzzle. I suspect that we're gonna have to do this. Oh, here we go. Nope, I got it. It's just a few pieces. There were too many screws in it to begin with, so it was weakened. Okay, so this is what we've got. Just basically a square block with two holes drilled through it for the big screws and some holes for the little guys. Now, what I'm gonna do though, rather than using wood, I am gonna use the 3D printer because I have it and I can. So, I think that's what I'm gonna do is first off, I am going to get a notebook. So as per usual in Justin's joint fashion, I am not prepared. So let me get everything that I need and then we'll regroup here in just a second. Okay. So. so I think I have everything ready to go. I've got a pen, a pad, I've got my calipers, I've got the piece of crap wood that I need to fix, and I've got everything. So, let's just go ahead and do this. So this guy is going to be 55. And we're just gonna draw a simple sketch. 55 millimeters, 60 millimeters, the holes are 13 millimeters, 13 diameter, diameter, and then 
they are not quite centered. Let's just say that they are 24. And then they are 13. Yeah, that'll probably work. This thing was really badly done, very badly done. But that's all right. We're gonna fix it. Yeah, that's a full 10 millimeters off from one side to the other, so. And then we basically are just gonna put two, four screws, uh, let's just say 10 millimeters from each corner. Yes, four screw holes, 10 millimeters from each corner. 10 by 10. Man, these are so badly done. Just so. It's no wonder this broke out when my kids leaned back in it. Now I know why my mother always told me don't lean back in your chair. It wasn't for safety, it was for her precious chairs. Breaks it, breaks your chairs. So, all right, oh, well, one thing that I forgot to do uh, is very important. We forgot to measure how thick this biatch is. So let's just go ahead and measure the thickness, which is 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters. I'm gonna go to my, go to my CAD program, do some CADing. Again with the call and furs, what the heck? Why am I doing that? All right, so let's go to the, let's go to CAD and let's do this. Uh, let me get myself situated here. Okay, we are here and in front of us in CAD, is a beautiful thing that I just modeled and I forgot to hit record on OBS, so we're gonna just freaking do it real quick again. It's just because, you know, we like to be prepared here in Justin's joint. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to a top, top view and we're gonna draw a square or a rectangle that is 60 by 55. And then we're gonna give it some thickness of 20 millimeters, just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and I decided to center the, the holes. All right, so the big, the big ones, because this uh, furniture is crap. And if you look at it, it is quite obvious that it's supposed to be centered, but it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and subtract these guys out like this and subtract here and there. There's our two big holes and now I'm gonna have two of these modeled, but that's okay because that's just okay. So then this guy, I measured it as being the countersinks, countersinks. I threw it in the trash because I thought I was done, but the holes that are countersunk, as I throw all this junk on the floor here, were, oh crap, there we go, there's, there we go, they were 10, I believe, 10 millimeters in diameter. Yes, and then I also made them halfway through there we go and then we're gonna go like and then I put a hole for the screw to pass through of four millimeters in diameter and we're basically going to extrude one up 
and then we're going to extrude the other one. Come on now, come on now, be nice to me, please. Be nice, be nice, you gotta be nice. There we go. And then we are going to merge these and then put a freaking chamfer on these. Here, we're gonna unite this one and this one. And then I'm gonna do a chamfer of three all the way around like that. And then I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna move this guy front view, uh, no, front, top, front view, front view, front view, front front you for those uh, I just brought back a memory of when I was in the army <laughs> you go through basic training and they do these things that are called front back goes and the drill sergeant will sit there and go front back go and it's front you do push-ups back you flip over you sit ups go you get up and run in place you know, there'll be times when we would do that for, oh, a half hour, 45 minutes at a time. You know, depends on how ticked off the drill sergeant was, but. I digress. Back to CAD. Back to CAD. We've got the CAD program. Program. All right, so we're gonna subtract those pieces out of the solid piece here, here like that and now you can see just that easy we have a model of this wooden piece that's now in the trash can and I actually recorded it <laughs> yes yes that's a win so um, as I was saying before when I wasn't recording I am going to go ahead and slice this up I'm not gonna subject you to that because it just makes the video prohibitively long and hard to edit but I'm gonna go ahead and slice it put it in the printer with gold filament because that's what's already loaded in and I'm really quite frankly too lazy to, to change it so let's do this right now day I got my part off the printer here here something like that it is actually not quite as wide as it should be which is odd because I took measurements and drew it up exactly per the measurements but it doesn't really matter I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together anyway so let's us just uh, let's just have at it here let me All right, so here we are. We're gonna just put this dude back together somehow. I guess we'll start this with something.
so let's see if I can get this in here. Here is our new piece. We basically just replaced the old broken broken piece with a brand new 3D printed plastic piece to hold this guy in. So everything is back together now nice and tight. The frame is still a little bit broken, but I think that everything is going to hold just with the screws that are that are in there and then this nice solid piece here. So I think I think we can safely say that this job is done. So until next time in the joint, we'll see you guys later. Thank you.